You know the feeling. The circle is getting smaller, and only you and a few players remain. You're so close to getting the victory royale, but then you start to get nervous and you panic. When you get nervous, your heart rate increases, your hands start to shake, and you can't play at your normal level. Ultimately, getting nervous loses you the game. But you're not alone with this problem. Getting nervous when playing Fortnite is a common problem the players face, and I want to help you overcome it. When I first started playing Fortnite, I would get nervous as well. But now I know how to remain calm, and that allows me to consistently play at my best. And in this video, I want to share with you effective ways that will help you to remain calm and stop getting nervous when you play Fortnite so you can play at your best and win more games. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so when I release a new video, you get notified. Now first, I think it's important that we understand why you get nervous when playing Fortnite, because once we understand it, we'll be a step closer to overcoming it. So there's a part of your brain called the amygdala, and the amygdala is a prehistoric part of your brain that's hardwired to avoid danger and is responsible for the fight or flight response. The fight or flight response is an evolutionary necessity, because when we were roaming the earth with vicious animals, we needed something that would alert us to danger so we could run away and survive. But a lion is not going to eat you when you're safe at home playing video games. Of course, Fortnite's a battle royale game, and you're running around a big open map with dangerous enemies that can attack and kill you from any time and from anywhere. So it makes some sense that your fight or flight response can get triggered as you're playing, but your fight or flight response isn't particularly useful when you're playing Fortnite, because it can negatively impact your performance and make you lose. So how can you stop the fight or flight response? How do you not get nervous? And how can you remain calm even though you're in a stressful situation? That's what this video is all about. And now the first thing I want to tell you about is how to reframe your nervousness. And reframing is a technique for changing your view of a negative situation, experience, or event for a more positive one. Let me explain. When top performers are getting ready to go on stage and perform in front of thousands of fans, it's common that they start to feel nervous, anxious, and scared. In fact, many performers stop performing because of performance anxiety or stage fright. But not Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen loves to perform because of the passion he gets from it. If you ask Bruce to describe the sensations that he feels before going on stage, he'll say things like butterflies in the stomach, an elevated heart rate, and sweaty palms. In other words, Bruce Springsteen feels the same sensations that a nervous performer would, yet his emotional response is different. So why does Bruce not feel nervous at these same sensations? It's because he's reframed the sensations in a positive way to signal excitement rather than nervousness. And do you think that feeling excitement rather than nervousness affects the way that he performs? You bet it does. Instead of being worried about all the things that could go wrong, he's excited and energized by all the things that are about to go right and the electrifying performance that he's about to put on. So instead of thinking negatively about your nervousness, Remind yourself that you're actually feeling the positive energy of excitement, and this is going to enable you to play even better. Now the next tip I have for you for overcoming your nervousness is to get more experience in nervous situations. You see, the reason that you feel nervous could be because you just don't have enough experience, and as you gain more experience, you'll increase your confidence and stop getting nervous. A lot of new Fortnite players are absolutely terrified at the thought of fighting other players and dying, and they'll do anything to avoid fights with other players. But avoiding nervous situations actually increases rather than decreases anxiety. The solution is to voluntarily expose yourself to situations that make you nervous. This is known as exposure therapy, and it's a technique for overcoming anxiety, stress, and nervousness. I used to be scared about fighting other players too, but instead of avoiding other players, I would drop at the most populated areas with the most amount of players, and try to get into as many fights as possible. Of course, I died a lot, 
but each fight taught me something new and enabled me to get better at Fortnite. And eventually, I wasn't afraid of getting into fights any longer. So if you're someone that lands far away from other players and avoids fights, stop. Do the opposite. Look to land in highly populated areas and get into as many fights as you can. Not only will this help to reduce your nervousness and anxiety, but it's also one of the best ways to get better at Fortnite because you'll be getting a lot of practice. But what if you're a more experienced player and you're not scared about getting into fights in general? What if you get nervous during build fights or endgame scenarios with moving zones? How do you quickly get more experience in those situations? If you spend a few hours playing Fortnite, then you'll be lucky to get into a few good build fights and endgame situations. This isn't enough experience for reducing your nervousness and increasing your confidence. The solution is to simulate those situations using Fortnite Creative to play 1v1s, build fights, zone wars, box fights, and so on. As you play these scenarios and continue to gain more experience, your confidence is going to carry over to an actual game and you'll find yourself feeling more calm and less nervous when you're in them, because you've gained all of that experience. Now the next tip I have for you is regarding your posture. You want to be sitting upright and relaxed as you play Fortnite. Why? Well, Amy Cuddy is a social psychologist and best known for her promotion of power posing. In her TED talk, Your Body Language May Shape the Way You Are, Cuddy suggests that adopting expansive postures can cause you to feel powerful. And you already know this, right? You know that certain moods and behaviours have certain postures and body languages associated with them. Someone that's nervous or uncomfortable, for example, will typically have a posture that's very closed. And if you start to put yourself into that posture, then you can start to feel that way. But if you want to feel confident, then you know the body language and posture associated with that as well. Your shoulders back, your chest out, and so on. Unfortunately, gamers are notorious for their poor posture. Slumped shoulders and chest collapsed. How do you think sitting in a poor posture like that would make you feel? Certainly, it's doing nothing good for your mood or your problem of getting nervous when you play Fortnite. So if you're someone that sits on the edge of your chair, hunched over and nervously anticipating what's going to happen next, then you're going to feel nervous. Instead, lean back into your chair and relax a little bit. Of course, a good chair is going to help a lot with keeping good posture throughout long gaming sessions. I recommend an ergonomic office chair over a gaming chair because, in general, they're better designed than gaming chairs. But I don't want to go off topic and start talking about chairs too much. This is about you taking action with your posture and sitting upright and relaxed. And when you sit upright, you're going to be able to breathe better. And that brings us to the next thing that can help with your nervousness, and that's to take a deep breath. Listen. Your breath can provide you with powerful benefits. It's a relaxing and proven stress reliever. Esther Sternberg is a physician and is internationally recognized for her discoveries in the science of well-being. She's the author of two best-selling books on stress, healing, and wellness. And according to Sternberg, rapid breathing is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system and is a part of the fight-or-flight response, whereas slow, Deep breathing stimulates the opposing parasympathetic reaction. In other words, taking slow, deep breaths calms you down and can help to negate the fight or flight response. Pranayama is the formal practice of breath control, which is the source of your life force. It is used as a tool for positively affecting your body and mind. And when you pay attention to your breath, you shift your focus to the present moment enabling you to concentrate on what's happening so you can focus on your game and performing at your best. If you're someone that takes short and shallow breaths, then try one of Dr. Andrew Wheel's deep breathing exercises for achieving a relaxed and clear state of mind. For example, here's how to do the 478 breathing exercise. This is a simple exercise that takes almost no time, requires no equipment, and you can do it anywhere. You start by exhaling completely through your mouth. Then, close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose for a mental count of four. 
Now, hold your breath for a count of seven. Next, exhale completely through your mouth to a count of eight. This is one breath. Now inhale again and repeat the cycle three more times for a total of four breaths. Now, the absolute time that you spend on each phase isn't that important, but the ratio of four, seven, eight is. And if you have trouble holding your breath, then you can speed the exercise up. Just make sure that you keep the ratio of four, seven, eight. And with practice, you can slow it all down and get used to inhaling and exhaling more deeply and feeling more relaxed. This is a simple yet powerful exercise and it acts as a natural tranquilizer to your nervous system that gains more power as you practice it and get more experienced. According to Dr. Wheel, practicing a regular mindful breathing exercise can be calming and energizing and can even help with stress-related health problems. So when you begin to notice that you're getting nervous and feeling the sensations associated with nervousness, shift your attention to your breath. Take some slow and deep breaths. The great thing about Fortnite is that you can build and protect yourself. So you can box up and take a moment to breathe, relax and reset. As you get better at breathing and increasing your awareness of the breath, you'll find yourself naturally taking more calming, deep breaths as you play and feeling less nervous as a result. Now, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is how to break the pattern of nervousness. If you want to change your behavior about something, one of the most important steps you have to do is break the pattern. Failure to break the pattern is how you find yourself stuck in a loop, creating the same negative experience. In other words, your nervousness could be a bad habit and you're going to have to find a way to break it. But habits are difficult to break. After all, your habit has been formed by creating a strong neural connection in your brain by repeating the same behavior. Now is the time to stop. But how can you break the habit of getting nervous when you play Fortnite? What can you do to get out of your current state of high excitement and into one that's more calm and relaxed? When I think of a Fortnite player that's always calm and relaxed, I think of Tifu. And I remember a time when I was watching Tifu stream and he was asked by a viewer, how do you not get nervous? And Tifu's response was, nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's just a game. And I love this reply because it's so simple yet so truthful. I find it helpful to say, it's just a game out loud whenever I start to feel nervous because after all, Fortnite is a game. Of course, your brain in the heat of the moment doesn't realize this, but when you make the effort to actually say that it's just a game, you're reminding yourself that there's nothing to be nervous about and you'll find yourself becoming more calm and relaxed as a result. Next, I wanna share with you some general tips that I have found for reducing anxiety. I would say that I suffer mildly from anxiety and I think that everybody feels anxious from time to time. So here are some things that I have found helpful for reducing anxiety. And the first thing is daily meditation. If I could choose any one habit that has made a measurable improvement in my life and helped to reduce anxious feelings, it's the daily practice of meditation. I meditate every morning, every day for 10 minutes, and I can't recommend this enough. Meditation is fairly simple and easy to learn, and there are a bunch of apps that you can get on your phone, for example, Headspace, Calm, and the one that I use is Waking Up. And the next thing I wanna talk about is exercise. Evidence has shown that physical activity is one of the best ways for reducing anxiety. I find weightlifting particularly helpful because it's hard to feel anxious or nervous about anything, especially a game of Fortnite, after you've had a killer workout. But your workout doesn't have to be particularly intense, and I think walking is a fantastic form of exercise, but just anything that gets your body moving is really going to help. The next thing is about eating a healthy diet. You've probably heard the saying that you are what you eat. So if all that you eat is processed junk food that's high in sugar, then you're gonna feel rubbish. I'm not a doctor or a dietitian, and I don't wanna give any specific dietary advice since that's not my intention in this video. So just use some common sense when it comes to your diet and try to eat as healthy as you can. And the next thing is about getting good sleep. Anxiety can cause sleeping problems and a lack of sleep is bad for you, obviously. 
so this is a vicious cycle. But you can make things better by having good sleep habits, by waking up and going to bed at the same time every day, even on weekends, you regulate your circadian rhythm, and also you want to avoid consuming caffeine too late at night, because that can make you feel anxious and difficult to fall asleep as well. You should aim to sleep for at least 8 hours a day. And the final thing I have is to attend to your responsibilities. Look, the source of your anxiety and nervousness may be something completely unrelated to your game of Fortnite. So if you have something that you need to do, stop avoiding it. As we discussed earlier in regards to exposure therapy, avoiding anxious things increases rather than decreases your anxiety. So just get it done. You'll be taking a huge mental load off, and then you'll be able to fully focus on your game. So to conclude, getting nervous when you play Fortnite is a normal response. It happens to a lot of us. And even though it's just a game, that doesn't mean that you won't get nervous. After all, you're a competitive person, and you want to win. But getting nervous can and will throw you off your game, and make you play worse, and even lose. So ask yourself when you feel nervous. What's the worst that could happen? Sure, you may die and lose the game, but it's just a game. You can always come back and try again. Look, there's nothing wrong with making a mistake and dying in a game of Fortnite. In fact, making mistakes is how you learn and improve, so you should be embracing your mistakes. But there's something very wrong about getting so nervous and stressed out about a game of Fortnite that you can't perform at your best. I hope you found this video helpful and that it's given you some useful tools and strategies that you can use to remain calm and stop getting nervous when you play Fortnite. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and a comment on the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so when I release a new video, you get notified. Anyway, that's the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.